good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 4th of September 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, in terms of stats, we have European sessions certainly underwater. Uh, the uh, Asian market certainly negative as well overnight, although the Shanghai certainly booked the trend. Okay. We have uh, the concerns, obviously, with regards to North Korea. Uh, claims nuclear tests was a success. H1, call it what you want. Basically, it was a, a risk-off event. Okay, it certainly uh, sent the markets in turmoil. Uh, Asian markets are down with a Nikkei down uh, almost 1%. Okay, uh, the Hang Seng down 0.7%. And all of it, Europe is certainly down as well. FTSE negative, although not as substantially as expected, only down 0.16%, which really... Uh, it does uh, call into question the concept of risk off at present. Either way, that's the status quo. The German DAX under pressure, French CAC under pressure as well, the FTSE MIB. Okay. In terms of economic data as well, uh, economic numbers this morning certainly not helping, especially from Spain. Sp Spanish unemployment numbers certainly stronger than expected. Or should, sorry, should I say stronger? It's weaker than expected. Actually, came in higher than expected. Came in at forty-six thousand, which certainly was a surprise. Also, UK PMI construction data certainly came in weaker than expected. Although eurozone centric investor confidence certainly came in stronger. Uh, PPI numbers certainly coming in weaker as well. Uh, again, that certainly is going to add or help the Draghi put. Okay. Uh, coming at zero, zero, expected was uh, 0.1 percent. Okay, year on year, two percent versus 2.2 percent. So again, that that does certainly keep alive the uh, the uh, the actual Draghi put, or those certainly uh, are pinning their hopes in the fact that Draghi will talk down the euro, which in turn obviously helps European equities. Okay, now let's look at the technical picture now. Let's move on to the German DAX. Let's see exactly where we stand. Now it certainly seems like that uh, or weaker inflation reading certainly is helping the German DAX rebound. As you can see, we gap lower. We close around the 12140 zone. We gap lower by 100 points. <clears throat> close the gap at 12050. Then obviously we popped ever since. Uh, from my perspective, if we take the pivot high to the pivot low here now, okay. So we're into that fib 38 percent. So I'm looking for a potential retracement again, okay. Given the fact that North Korean concerns certainly uh, outweigh any bullish arguments, okay. Uh, in terms of the 60-minute chart, let's see where we stand. Bear in mind, we do have the unfilled gaps below at, uh, at 12,000. Okay, 12,000. And then you have the other gap at uh, 11,950. So those two gaps certainly remain in play. Moving on to the French CAC, let's see where we stand here. French CAC certainly bouncing as well, certainly being helped by that um, weaker PPI and stronger investor centrics. And also, obviously, Mr. Draghi as well, that certainly is playing quite a major part obviously uh, given the fact that going into Draghi now uh, a lot of participants may want Mel may well want to short squeeze and that certainly is preventing the uh, the risk off trade from uh, certainly coming into fruition okay so again certainly a retracement you are looking at resistance here at 5116 and then gap fill at 5122 so bear that in mind also moving on to the FTSE 100 certainly FTSE 100 retracing quite sharply but again any retracement certainly is being met with selling okay so you are looking at weakness here uh, you're looking at support around the 7416 so watch out for 7416 in terms of the next potential support if that were to give way which i'm expecting then you're looking at 7405 and then eventually you're looking at potential previous resistance equal support 7380 and then eventually gap fill at 7365 so just be wary of that gap at 7365 again that certainly is a gap certainly to watch out for Okay, again, looking for further weakness in the FTSE, looking to test that 7406 and still have yet to test it. Okay, giving bear in mind that the FTSE closed at 7440 zone. Okay, and the FTSE at the moment is only trading at 7430 or 7424 now, sorry. Okay, so again, not exactly risk off. Okay, down what, 20 pips in the back of a, uh, a nuclear test. Okay, that certainly isn't the case, especially given the fact that Mr. The General, uh, is it Mattis or Kelly? Uh, it was indicating that they could they can incinerate North Korea and again also uh, with regards to concerns with regards to Bitcoin as well given the fact that China now has banned the ICO okay banned Bitcoin okay Bitcoin falling down almost nine percent also given the fact that the US has threatened to uh, certainly call a halt uh, to anybody who uh, certainly a halt in trading and anybody who's actually trading with North Korea so again that certainly does cause is a, is a cause for concern okay so 
that certainly is something to focus on as well okay right okay so from my perspective certainly looking at risk aversion especially with the weekly nfp reading as well on uh, on friday certainly looking for the markets to de-risk here okay on that note i think that's a, uh, a wrap up uh, in terms of the uh, european market action midday certainly do an end of day market wrap up as always on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that bonus goodbye now